So in this case, I want us to consider another example on our Thevenin's theorem. Uh, remember, we managed to consider the steps and also what is important of the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, how to obtain your VTEV and your RTEV. So that is not going to change even if you are given two voltage sources like what we are given there. So we're given for the circuit in Fig 1.16a, use Thevenin's theorem to calculate the current through the load resistor RL, meaning to say the current across here, uh, given this network. So that this is A1, this is A1 plus, it's not important for now. What we need is to have this current. All right, remember the stages, guys, or the steps. What we need is across that resistor, to short that, uh, to remove that resistor actually, then replace with A and B. So let us just remove RL. So the moment you remove your RL, we are going to have something like this and just gonna name those points A and B. So it's just gonna be like this. So let's say this is your A, this is your B. The other part is going to remain. There is a voltage and a resistor that is remaining here. All right, so this is our V1, seven volts, and this is our R1, which is six ohms. Uh, V2, on the other hand, uh, 12 volts, R2, which is 10 ohms. Remember what you need from this is to calculate the VDEV, which is that OKs across the terminals A and B or the the one that you are considering uh, the voltage across AB. So how are we going to calculate the voltage across points AB? According to the diagram that we have, A is connected to the positive of V1, also to the positive of V2. So when it is given a combination of this nature, you calculate these voltages separately, voltage across AB1, which is, okay, so this is what you're going to do. Uh, let's say you ignore this V2, okay? So let's ignore V2 in that case. So if you ignore V2 like this, like V2 is not part of your diagram because this voltage, they are going to be shared here. So if you ignore V2, like it's not part of your diagram, what is it that we can see here if V2 is not there? we can see that the voltage that is going to be across AB is the voltage that is across R2. Meaning to say we can use the voltage divider rule from this V1. We can use the voltage divider rule to calculate this voltage across AB, and we're going to call it AB1, which is actually the voltage across A and B here, which is across R2. That is the voltage, A and B is the voltage across R2. So using voltage divider rule, okay, from our uh, voltage divider rule, we can see that. That will be R2 on top. This is where we need the voltage over the sum of where the voltage is being shared, which is R1 and R2. R1 plus R2 times what? V1, which is now acting as your supply. Remember. You ignored V2. So V1 is now the supply. So we can calculate the voltage across A and V1, which is simply the voltage across R2. And that is going to be uh, given as R2, which is 10, over the sum of these two resistors, 6 and 10. Uh, that's going to be 6 plus 10 times the voltage V1, which is 7. So as you can see, guys, uh, thus we've got um, the first voltage, which is going to be 4,3. 75 volts. So this is what you do. Remember, you ignored V2 in the first place. So let's get back our V2 as it was. This time, you are going to ignore V1. This time, you have to ignore V1, as if V1 is not part of your diagram, as if this V1 is not part of your diagram. So again, you see that we need the voltage across A and B, which is now considered as the voltage across R1. So we can calculate the voltage across the points A and B, but this time let's call it two, which is the voltage across 
R1. So using the voltage divider rule, it's going to be R1 now on top over the sum of the resistors R1 plus R2 times V2, which is now our supply. Remember, you ignored V1, so you're going to multiply it to V2. So that's it, just like that. So our R1 is what? A 6 over the sum of these two, 6 plus 10, times your V2, which is 12. So with this, you're going to calculate the voltage across A and B of the second calculation of the second network that you had to consider. Remember, you, you worked with these voltages separately. So VDEV representing VAB is going to be a sum. As the, I said to say, they are connected both to the positive of A, so it's just going to be a sum. Unless one is connected to positive, another one to negative, you subtract. But positive, positive like that, you are simply going to add those two. So it means our VTEV, which is equal to VAB, will be the sum, since both are connected to the positive. So it's going to be the sum of VAB1 plus VAB2, the one that we got. If they were in opposite direction from the sources, you subtract. So that's our VTEV. So it's simply going to add uh, 4,375 plus uh, 4,5, just like that. So by adding these two, you are going to obtain a VTEV, which was going to be 8,875 volts. That's our VTEV. Just like that. So you see, guys, it's all about the circuit that you are given. You work with the circuit. After calculating VTEV, what is that you want? You want RTEV. So in this case, we have our VTEV. Just going to write it aside. VTEV, remember, we got uh, 8,875 volts. So let's uh, now consider our RTEV. Remember, RTEV, we said from this network that we are having, the voltage sources, we are going to short circuit them. You short circuit the voltage sources and you calculate your RTF, uh, meaning to say we replace by the internal resistances. So it simply means you are going to have a short circuit here. It was going to be like this. It was just going to be a short circuit here, a short circuit here. That is how it was going to be like. Sorry, guys, I'm too, because of the uh there's too many presentations so that we do not confuse each other so that is what you're going to end up with and i say this is the look in resistance so we can calculate rtf after this uh that's calculate rtf which is called the look in resistor across the points and b how are these resistors connected they are considered in parallel so meaning to say our rtf it's a parallel combination of these two Across A and B. Guys, this is how, how it is. A and B, these are points like this. It's like this. A and B like that. So you're going to consider like this. There's a resistor there. There's another resistor. This is where it, how it is. Do not consider to say like it is like this or so. It is going to be the same. No. There is a resistor here that is going to be there. So the currents, they are not the same. Current here and current are not the same. So these two are, are in parallel. Because the current flowing there is not, is not the same. That's in, in parallel. Remember from our N2, if the current is not the same, those two will be in parallel. So that will be product over some R1, R2, over R1 plus R2, which is the sum. So that means our RTF, we're just going to multiply these two resistors 6 by 10 over uh, 6 plus 10. Uh, that was going to give us 3,75 ohms as our RTF. And from there, you need the equivalent circuit uh, after having obtained all this uh, with our RTF, which is 3,75 uh, ohms. We can now have the equivalent circuit. So all this will be put on the equivalent circuit. So the equivalent circuit, that's the voltage. So you're going to have your voltage. Like I said, you can even present the normal way that you understand, guys. That's our VTEV to the RTEV in series to the, uh, the points where we have got A and B, uh, that part where we had uh, the load resistor. Remember, this is where we had 
A and B. So you connect back now the load resistor uh, between A and B, uh, meaning to say our load resistor, it was 20 ohms, we're gonna connect it back. 20 ohms. Our RTF, remember we got this, it was uh, 3,75. VTEF, it was 8,875. With this, we can calculate the current flowing in this uh, circuit, which is uh, uh, the load current or across the load resistor. From the which, co which combination? Voltage over the total resistance. So that's uh, current. VTEF over the total resistance, which is simply RTEF plus RL. So meaning to say we're simply going to divide 8,8 uh 75 divided to the sum of these two so we've got uh, rtf 3,75 plus rl the load resistor of 20 that was going to give us uh the load current of 0, 0,3 uh 74 amps which is the current affecting rl and rtf in series was the series combination there so you just need to work out uh, different questions. As I said, uh, the effect of this one, of this type of a question, can be on the voltages. How are they presented? So a positive, positive like that, you know that you just have to add on that V there. It's just going to be uh, VAB1 plus VAB2 according to what we had. Remember, we had A and B uh, on these points. You calculate the voltage, you add them because A and A is with respect to the positive of both. It's connected to the positive of both. So you shall see another question where it can be connected. Another one to positive, another one to a negative. So you must be very careful when it is like that. 